Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to Nocro Player. I'm Ilona and today we are playing Beacon Pines. And we are left off here in a town square. And uh, let's talk to the people of our beautiful town. Hey, Mrs. Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer house? Warehouse? Any strange happenings? And say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You'll be safe now. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. The two wander down the wooden path, un unaware of the danger ahead. Oh, oh, this is getting good. <laughs> We have here the Beacon Beacon. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about... News? The Beacon Beacon knows the news that they needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh, Rollo thought he saw some lights there last night. Uh, Rollo, uh, at the auto get well, auto get a big we, we, Rollo better be careful. Poking around at the part of town, the windows, uh, the winds of uh, change are blowing, and change is uh, a danger animal. Change, nice new charm. Never been here before. Hey, Don. Sorry to wake ya. Um, no problem. It uh, comes uh, with the Dawn job. Don had dreams of <laughs> becoming a big time reporter. At night, she searched for the story that could be her big break. By day, she hawked papers at the newsstand. Oh, she's uh, a bat. <laughs> What's up? Rollo said he saw something strange going on at the warehouse. You know anything about that? Hmm. You might say I've uh, heard something. I'm working on a story about it right now. So what's going on? Can't quite say. I still need to follow up on a few leads. Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure thing. Things seems to be uh, quiet in town today. Yep, everyone is preparing for the festival. Should be back to normal tomorrow. Catch you then. Catch you then. Oh, and Luca? I'm really sorry I haven't been able to find out anything about your mom yet. I'm just grateful uh, that you tried. I'm still keeping my ears up. Literally. Her ears are definitely up. Okay, anything else? Hidden away here. The last chance diner? I mm, guess, uh, uh, Miss, uh, Retile? Retile? Is getting ready for the festival. Ooh, I guess we can go there at some point then. Okay, so we've been there. Go up here, snooping around. Um, paper? Oh, paper. Oh, hey, Luca, what's up? You know, it's a summer break, right? Of course. And it's like uh, the morning, correct? And you're studying? Like they say, the early bird. It's the proper education required for a successful and fulfilled career later in life. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's definitely what they say. 100% true, true story. They say that. Hey, Zario? Hi, Aloka. Could you please tell this lazy bat to help out in the cafe? Um, Lumi Zario would 
uh, like you look at let me give you a little uh, gem of advice if you never do what you don't love then you will never work a day in your life wow you are really uh, uh, setting the kid up for success thanks for advice I will be going now I don't think we interact Luca with Luca can buildings. see the morning regulars nestled in their booths at the early bean. Early bean, oh my god. So cute. Last chance diner. Mmm, pastry. Mm -hmm. Delicious. No touching? <laughs> Mark, oh my god. <gasps> nice. Hello. Ice cream? Hey Griffin. How is the ice cream get going? Not great. It's still pretty cold out. And I'm in a in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Mr. Tolivier's uh not a uh, not at uh, his uh, grocery stand he's preparing for the festival i guess gotcha hey bird hi luca i'm doing some uh, fact checking for the town history exhibit look kid i'm just here to put up uh, the lights did uh but did you know when the town was founded, uh, there was only seven citizens and they all worked for a mining company and there was only one uh, dirt road leading to town and there's still only one road leading to town. All right. The last smarty kid. Okay, don't know. There's anything else here doesn't seem like can't so let's continue our adventure this way look at just the fella i was looking for hey roxy what's up oh, right rendezvous with roxy this is an important turning point the first time where your charms will change the course of fate and currently we only have one suitable charm at our disposal have no fear, we can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen my uh, blockhead brother today? Skipped out uh, before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Roxy, would I lie to you? Look, I wait up. I almost uh, forgot to tell you. Roxy may be lurking around here. This is one of uh, her favorite places. Stand around and be useless. Rollo. We need to uh, make sure she doesn't spot us. Rollo. Why are you doing that turning uh, thing, uh, thing with uh, your body? Uh, what, you are not uh, scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And she's right around that corner, isn't she? <laughs> oh, guys, definitely get into trouble. Don't mind me, just over here lurking uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather uh, we are having, huh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Roxy, I'm gonna leave. Uh, level, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired of uh, digging up carrots. We all gotta pick up uh, the slack since uh, the fall harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. And the rest look like uh, they were hit with a... Uh, Hung Atomics, uh, Shrink Ore. <laughs> All the more reasons to keep digging. There's gonna be more of... Uh, there's there's gotta be more to life than a uh, Pani Carrot. 
Look, Roxy, Luke and I have places to be, so if you don't mind... Oh, I do mind. I'm not gonna catch all uh, hell again because of uh, you. So either you, you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul your, you home myself. Rollo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. Okay, in the past, he found the best way to deal with the en enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Come on, Roxy. Isn't this the first day of summer? The sun's shining and we just want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problem for tomorrow. That's great and all, but the Rollo's problem have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always says tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March big oaf. Alright. X uh, packed a full report about the Valentine place. A full report. Investigate the Valentine's warehouse alone. So fits. What are you up uh, to this lovely day? Nope. Co co co. <laughs> Just trying to hit on her. <laughs> oh. So cute, Luca. Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never understand underestimate what a great man can uh, can do. Give time. Never underestimate what a great man can do. Given time. <laughs> okay. When I read that first, I was like, "Wait a minute, that sounds." Not very English like. <laughs> yeah. A bit much, if you ask me. Indulgent or indulging. Fool? Seems like he had a good dinner. Hey, Solomon. Apologies, no time for chit chat. Okay, we'll cut you later. Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Makes sense. Looks uh, like the library hasn't opened yet. I will check back later. Look at my boy, hold up, Atik. Hey, Mr. Uh, Nancreed, I was uh, just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's uh, preserves. Can't stock uh, the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, uh, but I'm actually... I guess uh, Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely gem. Uh-huh. Uh well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that uh, she still owns me the dent. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. <laughs> Will do. She's a fine woman, that uh, Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Uh, gotta go. Better than any gem on earth. Come on, man. You're talking about Lucas' grandma. The phone booth Relax. was brand new, part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. Mailbox? We can jump. It's so cute. Hello. Oh, hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How is the back hunt going? Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? 
Oh sure, bugs aren't uh, that uh, different from people. Sometimes they just uh, want to be left alone. We are going in into Weepwood. Just be careful where you step. No back crunching, got it. Yeah, definitely no back crunching. Okay, so that's the woods. Let me just check every corner here. Oh. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Okay, no turning back now. Watch an electrified fence. Isn't that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. There's a hole we can sneak in through. Okay, so what would Rollo do if he was Luca here? Luca often asked himself what Rollo would do, so that he could rule out that option. I'm definitely not touching that thing. Okay, pick it up and throw it. As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. That's One two. More to go. And the side. The fence Perfect. buzzing gave way to silence. Okay, moment of truth. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolla wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There was only one way to find out. Whoa, that smells awful. Too bad Rose is not here. You he would have no problem poking around in here. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. I guess we just have to do this. Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? The Steps? sound of footsteps grew louder. Hello? Dead. <laughs> nice. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. This is the story about... Change. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? Well, that the end. It must be over, right? So, um, thanks guys for watching. <laughs> I probably should have warned you about this. Kidding. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. Okay, so we wanna... Yeah, we want to go back here and be a little shit. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> Make a break for it. 
What have you done? <gasps> then that little should just kick me. Run all you want, you little twerps. You gotta come home eventually. <gasps> Sorry. Okay, investigate the Valentine warehouse with Rollo. That's much better. And hi. Sorry about that. Rollo can get uh, over can get overexcited sometimes. Solomon Valentine, current ward of and future successor to the Valentine Fortune, huffed as he brushed off his pants. A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter, how are you doing? Me? Yes, with all that uh, business about your mother and uh, whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from uh, her at all? No. That is truly a shame. Oh. Your grandmother has uh, taken residence to, uh, to keep the house? Yeah. And how is that going? We mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's uh, really at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm -hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is uh, really around. In the... Uh, in lie in lie of uh, one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention, it doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say it's uh, best to rail on yourself. Emily has uh, a way of uh, creating more problems than they solve. Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Speaking of the devil. Do not wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies, Arias. I was just talking, uh, taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. You're a, a Valentine now. I want you to be present for the construction of uh, the History Museum. The future of this town rails on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. Poor kid. Look at my boy, hold up a tick. Uh, sorry, Mr. Uh, Neck Creed, uh, kind of in a hurry right now. Oh. <laughs> ah. Boy, uh, boy's got too much of his uh, father in him. Ooh. I win. Little help? Ooh. I Ooh. am the champion. Hmm. We were racing. Did that art get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just uh, lightheaded from the run. You really need to uh, p uh, pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would uh, take advice from a second place. That sign always been here. Wait, what? Caution electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. AP. How are we gonna get around an elect electric fence? Don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> Why did you do that? I always say you can figure out uh, what the plan was when you are done. Great, what now? Well, I did uh, my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I will supervise from a safe distance. <laughs> oh, but we already know what to do. Oh, you were a genius. 
Yeah, maybe a little bit. Think that it? That that it? Not do it, Luca. You never fail to impress. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rollo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out. Thank Rollo, you weren't uh, exaggerating. Ex oh my goodness. Extra oh my god, what's up with those eggs? Exaggerating for once. <laughs> Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing. Two ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome. Rumble? Did you feel that? What, the excitement in the air? You bet you bet your bet I did. Oh. Check out this paddle. That's not normal. This hose. Oh man, the door is locked. Play harder. No dice, it won't budge. Oh well. This dumpster is new, right? I bet it it got stuff in it. I can't really see what it's in here. Who did all who did all of this? My nose is itching, I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in, Rollo. It would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Okay, investigate complete. Come on, Lady Luck. What's it's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of bag of squish. Wow. A good inch of stenched slabs. What? That stagion sludge? Your nat natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Hold two phones. Take those bad boys out. Ooh, walkie talkie. Are those walkie talkies? Just like a hang a atomic communicators. Do those, uh, do those still work? Round command to hang atomic. Hang, do you read me? This is hang atomic, ground command. You are coming in five by five. How, uh, how are you? B vital, well, radius hang. I'm getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for uh, uh, evacuation. Help us on the way. Steps. What was that? No one's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Whatever. I'm coming in. Okay. Oh, uh, tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Oh, this looks suspicious. The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Oh god, tell me that's not what I think it is. Luca, do you... Uh, do you know what the separate run of uh, the the male detectives from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, ace detectives dig deep, deeper for clues. Rollo felt around at the large sack which burdened them. Oh no, Rollo. He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. Some sort of badge or something. What does it say? The badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Doctor Prescott, Deep Engineering. The name tag. Who would throw away a bag full of slimy old 
name tags. I think it's just one a name tag in a bag full of something else. Okay, okay. I think we should uh, make a break for it. Stay calm, this is no time to panic. I'm not panicking. You are panicking. Rollo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard, dude. I'm not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime cover hand would be in here? Uh, oh my gosh. Now it's time to run and panic. I'm beginning to see the benefits of your run for our lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I will go first. Why not go together? Climbing chicken coop, look, uh, Luca. Uh, I will make sure uh, the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, call us. For all, I will give you a credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Luca sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rollo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen? Sixteen? Seventeen? He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five? Thirty-six? Thirty-seven? The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough! Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass! Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3 Well, that was... Something. Crazy something. Uh, never go around poking in the dumpsters of some old warehouses you don't know nothing about. I don't think you want to know what's in them. Perhaps for Luca to actually sit in there and count till even five. I would be out of there in a split second. He is brave. And I think on that, we'll finish this episode and we will continue the chapter 3 in the next one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.